Hello, it's the Bowmeister. Welcome back. Hope you haven't missed this this run too terribly much in the two weeks it's been gone, but we are back for another episode of the Pokemon Silver Nuzlocke. First things first, and I'm gonna heal up my team, because they need it. They deserve it. So today's episode is we're gonna do a few things. I'm gonna do a few things here. First things first, as I am going to go ahead and... Sadly, deposit Fred, the level 3 Geodude. I'm not really using him. He's good. He's essentially going to be a backup replacement should I ever need to get rid of George. Still early on. Uh, I'm going to pop in the Pokemon Mart real quick and grab a couple of items. I did, I did get some money out of, the, out of the Sprout Tower, actually, so I'm going to pick up a few potions. Not many. We'll do five. And we'll pick up one Pokeball. Just so we have one so we're ready for Route 24. Alright, well now without any other delays... Actually, we are going to delay one second more. I'm going to switch Darling back up to the front. We'll do some more, some more grind training. More switch training. Talk to you. Hey, I'm no trainer, but can I, I can give some advice. Believe me, if you believe a championship dream can come true. You believe? Then listen. The grass type is weak against the flying type. Keep this in mind. Well, City Pokemon Gym, which by the way, is hilarious because I'm looking here, and Pidgeotto's the only one that actually has any flying type moves. That's okay, because I have a water type anyway, and let's go with the trade. Let's be, let me see if you're good enough to face Falconer. Ah, uh, yeah, here we go. We got Bird Keeper 8. He's got himself a Spearow. Level 9. Now, so we're going to go ahead and switch into Larry. We'll get Larry some experience, hopefully. Ooh. Yikes. Okay. Rake is gonna grow with a critical hit! Uh, yeah, potion's gonna be needed right now. Thank you. Please use, like, growl or something. Oh, this thing's going for the kill! Oh, man. Here's <sighs> my potions just on this Spearow. Okay. No crit, no crit, no crit, no crit. Thank you. There we go. I'll take the critical hit, thank you. Darling gets 55, Larry gets 55. And down goes 8. This can't be true. Oh, but it is, Sunny. Next up, the keyword is guts. Those here training are training night and day to become bird Pokemon masters. Come on! I don't even know what you have. Rod sends out a Pidgey! Level 7. Darling! Level 8. And there's a good opportunity for... George! Let's see how well he stands up against the likes of these birds, which he's doing quite well, in fact. Like I said, we're gonna be doing some switch training to just. to maybe hopefully get some experience on, uh. Kakuna, so hopefully I'll get a Beedrill out of the whole deal. Mm 
And that is... Not much, but it's enough, and... We'll go back to Darling. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Cat. You're a Kakuna. <laughs> not bad. Probably not enough. 101, yep, not enough. Switch back to George. Alright, let's tackle. Yes, I'll gladly take that. Tackle, nope, missed. And... Okay, the Ford experience points for the rest. Yes! Uh, he just screamed at us. We're gonna go ahead and run away real quick and heal up. Just so we're ready against Falconer. Now Falconer's interesting because his bird's no mud slap. have to really be cautious there. Alright, we're all healed and ready to go. Yep. There he is. I'm Falconer, the Violet Pokemon Gym leader. People say you can clip flying-type Pokemon wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. We can't even get electric-type yet. We just- we can't, there's no way. Closest one is Mareep and you have to get around that one dude, which means you have to beat Falconer to do so. So again, Darling starts out against the dude, we'll switch in to... No, let's try Larry. Let's see how bad Larry is going to get hurt here. Remember, Mudslap lowers accuracy. Three? That's, that's much, 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 much better than fighting that, that stupid Spearow. Pidgey's, oh, Pidgey's playing it smart and it's going, or it's not smart, but it's playing, it's not playing with all its cards here, because it's not doing a much lap. Oh, so close, Larry, but we're going to switch, he's going to switch to a vastly underleveled Pidgeotto, and I'm just going to go straight into a, yeah, level 9 Pidgeotto, I'm just going to go straight into Geodude. To George. There's that much lap. Super effective, and it's accuracy drop. Oh, five. Uh oh. That's a problem. Especially if George can't hit anything. Switching to Larry. Gust! Uh-oh. Six damage, that's a lot. But we made a dent, so we need to heal. That Gust is gonna do quite a bit. Of course, he keeps missing due to that stupid punch lap. Makes me real irritated! Two damage from Gust, which is fine. But back to Mud Slap! 
Thank you, Geodude. Finally. So that's, what, five mud slaps now, I think? Six. How much does Mudslap actually have? Gen 2? That's 10, so we're fine. As long as I remember to count correctly. Routine. Criticals. Break through the act. The big accuracy drop. We're gonna do this. We're gonna heal Larry. No crit, no crit, no crit, no crit, no crit, no crit, no crit. Okay, good. This should be number eight if I've counted right. It's either seven or eight. Scratch. No crit, no crit, no crit! Oh no! So you can survive this next gust. I have like no speedy Pokemon on my team that I want to use in this fight. But down goes the Pidgeotto, yes! Larry gets 108, which is a level 10! Yes, please, thank you. Ooh, almost a level 11, dude! And George gets George hits level 11 and learns Rock Throw, which could have been handy this fight, actually. But Leader Faulkner has been defeated. Yes! Darn, my dad's cherished bird Pokemon! Alright, take this. It's the official Pokemon lead Zephyr Badge. Got $900 out of the deal. And now we got the Zephyr Badge. Raises the attack power of Pokemon. It also enables Pokemon to use Flash, if they have it, anytime. Here, take this too. We also get 1031, TM31, which is, of course, Mud Slap. By using a TM, a Pokemon will in instantly learn a move, new move. I think before you act, a TM can only be used only once. TM31 does contain Mud Slap. It reduces the enemy's accuracy while it causes damage. In other words, it is both defensive and offensive. We did it! We didn't even lose Pokemon out of the deal! Phone call! Hello, Silver! We discovered something about the egg! My assistant is at the Pokemon Center in Violet City. Could you talk to him? His one assistant is now in the Pokemon, is now at the Pokemon Center. Poor guy. I mean, we gotta come here anyway. Pokemon Center here, Pokemon to help. Let's do so. Thank you for waiting, Pokemon healed. Silver, long time no see. Professor Ohm asked me to find you. He has another favor to ask. Will you take this Pokemon egg? Yes, because now we will walk with this egg. We discovered that a Pokemon will not hatch unless it grows in the egg. It also has to be with other active Pokemon to hatch. Silver, you're the only person we can rely on. Please call Professor Elm when that egg hatches. And we shall do so, because we will keep the egg with us. It's going to be a permanent party member. It was originally, if I had caught the Brattata, it would have originally replaced Fred. Since I dropped Fred off, there was no need. But now we can hit down Route 32. And this guy shouldn't stop us anymore. All right, so my Route 32 encounter will be... I can get it to... Pop! Route 32 will give me... Another chance at a Rattata. Level 8, too, so it's gonna be... If I pay attention, it'll be a little tankier. Not quite exotic as I thought it was going to be. I was hoping for the likes of, like, 
and Ekans or an Ekans a bell sprout of a reap anything but a red data. But no, that's all we get is just a red data. Okay, so we gotta be careful, Larry. So quick deck, ooh, quick deck will be nice if we don't kill it. So give me a Pokeball. One, two, three. Got it! Nearly added to the Pokedex! Living wherever there's food available, it ceaselessly scavenges for edibles the entire day. And you're gonna be named Steve, because again, it's the first name I came up with. I don't remember. Actually, no, you're gonna be named Death. And you are a girl. You're actually my first girl Pokemon. So welcome to the team, Steph. Right now we're gonna, we're still switch training right now. Again, kind of bummed because we got well, probably like the most blandest of all of the Pokemon on the party. Because we got the bells, we got out of all of them, we got stupid bell sprout. Okay. So there's the egg, and of course... Oh, it moves around sometimes. It must be close to hatching, so maybe, just maybe. I don't know why I'm kind of switching these guys around, but I'm doing so right now. So, darling! 21 to 9, so let's get it in there. Sully. Let's look at Steph, by the way. Steph the Red Tata. No tackle tail up and quick attack. It's gonna be my currently my speed striker. Do, 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 do. Now our new encounter on this route is... I could have gone for a Mareep the first time around, thank you, game! No, instead you have to give me a stupid rat! As a Mareep screams at us. Alright, well... Next up is the Union Cave. Scroll down to it. Hopefully I'll have a little bit better selection of the Union Cave. And I will laugh so hard if it's a third Geodude, because I probably, depending on which gender it is, it'll either be Ron or Ginny. <laughs> we'll just name them after Harry Potter characters. Darling's level 9! Yes, one more to go. And Steph starts to level up herself. Speaking of... Leveling up, we get a trainer! First trainer on the route! I haven't seen you around before, so you think you're pretty tough? I did beat Falconer after all. Just saying! Oh, wait, no, I was looking at the wrong one. Nope, I don't get a sand- I don't get a sand true. I'll probably get another Geodude, or another Red- another Rattata. But we'll start out with Darling. We will switch to Steph. If we have to, we'll switch Steph out again for another Pokemon. We'll do one quick attack to see. Yeah, let's go ahead and switch out. Let's put George in. Oh, uh, yeah, drop Dillip. That's fine. Well, I'm gonna throw some rocks at you. Rock throw! Gets me a dead rat. Of course, that breaks up the experience, so nobody gets real much of anything. 
And now we're switching to a Zubat. Let's go ahead and switch back to Darling. For right now. Level 8 Zubat. If I, what I'll have to do is, I probably will go ahead and just, uh, because Darling still needs, at this point, 244. So I'll probably still switch. I can't switch to the egg. Ah! Is that I'll just continue switch training for the time being. Uh, wild Pokemon may get... Or just, just until I get, uh... Uh, I forgot my Kakuna's name! Please don't, please don't. Yes, thank you. There we go, critical hit! One shot! There we go. You're strong! Yep. I most certainly am. We got anything over here? Like another trainer. I will go ahead and burn through a lot of potions that fight too. Oh, that's a Pokemon. That's not a Poke. That's not a trainer. That's a Pokeball. I gotta use the Bell Sprout even. That's right, Leon. You're up, my friend. And of course. A wild bell sprout is gonna be weaker than a uh. I forgot I was gonna say. Oh, uh weak wild Pokemon are weaker than trainer Pokemon, especially when it comes to experience, so a level six here won't do me much good compared to, like, say, a level, you know, level wild, a wild level six compared to a... Yeah, I only got 30, you know, 72 total for that. So that's fine. Ah, the potion! I'll take it. I'll take it. Gladly take it. Alright, this is trainer. I think she has an enter in? Uh-huh, yeah, and you know... Pardon, Daddle, I'm on the phone. Oh, all right, make it fast. Then Picnicker Liz has, yep, Nidoran female. Level nine. So I think I'll go ahead and switch into George for now. Yep, tackle. I made a good decision. And we'll just throw some rocks at it again. Because why not? Because again, we're trying to get that, uh, that Kakuna. Darling. We're trying to get Darling to, uh, level 10 so it can evolve, so we can actually start using it in battle, even though I think all it, all it has at this point when it, when it does get to the level I want it to be, yeah, it'll only know Fury Attack until level 20. I'm in trouble. But Fury Attack will still be better than not having anything at all. We'll throw a tackle at it. It's, just, it's been growling at me, so it's been dropping my attack. That's it for there. Picnic Picnicalize was defeated. I don't know why I picked up Joyce's phone number. He's going to call me incessantly. There's two ways I can go. I'll go both ways eventually, but right now we'll start up here. That's you know, the fisherman. I could have had an Ekans! Game? Sheesh, game. Why must you do me dirty like that? Oh, does Ekans have rap at like, level? Yes! Oh, thank goodness. Critical hit! The rat eats, eat, beat the snake!
Oh, hey! Hi, there's a trainer! That glance! It's intriguing! Hopefully this is a trainer we can get to level 10 on. Or... Darling. Maybe! Camper Roland sends out a Nidoran mail! Level 9, Darling! Let's check out Darling's experience gain. 91! Darling may actually come close at this point. I don't think it'll be nearly enough with Nidoran Mail, but we'll give it a shot. Missed with the Leer. Which is different because the other Nidor Nidoran was hitting me with attack downs. This one's trying to hit me with defense downs. Hasn't hit one yet! But away it goes! Only 57, but that's still enough for Darling to hopefully have at least one or two more switch trades, switch training rounds. Got a great ball, that'll help coming in the future. So let's go this up this way, because I know there's a bunch of fishermen. Dax? Here's one out! I'm a good angler, but an even better trainer. So if I do switch it to anybody, it's gonna be like Lediba. Or even you know what? Let's switch into Total Dial, because we haven't used Total Dial well. Level 10 Goldeen! This doesn't get me a level up. I don't know what will. So we'll switch into Larry! Gotta get we gotta get Larry leveled up here. I do think there's also gonna be a bunch of grinding here soon. Cause yeah. We'll see how we'll see where we end up here on episode six. Um because <laughs> yeah well so at the end of because we're almost we're getting close to the end here. Ooh, pack hurts. Oh no, not supersonic! Shoot! Come on, break through, break through, break through, break through, break through, yes! Once more with feeling, Larry! Once more with feeling! Yes! 117 for Darling, that is a level 10, that is an evolution! And Larry's level 11, yes please, I will take it. And Fisher Wolf was defeated. I tried to rush things, their sprite is not even on the screen, dude. But Darling gets an evolution! Dun 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 Darling evolves into Beedrill. And Darling learns Fury Attack. Sweet. Which means now we can put Steph up front for a little while. And you know what? Oh, we've got two pictures there. You know what? I think this is going to be a good enough spot to stop the episode for the day. Thank you so much for watching. Tomorrow we'll take on some anglers. We'll continue Route 32 and hopefully make it through the Union Cave before the end of the episode. But until then, I have been the Bowmeister, and I have been obediently yours.